it's Bunny and today we are on a very special mission. I have been wanting to film this video ever since it was trendy about two months ago, but you guys know me, I never do anything on time. So today we're gonna be going to Sephora inside of the mall and letting the lovely people who are checking out in front of us decide what makeup we're going to buy and try. I'm gonna try and get a full face of makeup and to do that I'm assuming I'm going to have to be asking multiple people in the store. I don't exactly know if I'm gonna eerily creep at the checkout line the whole time, or maybe if I'm just going to approach other shoppers in the store and ask them what they're buying. But basically, we're gonna be buying what other people are buying today, and then we're gonna do a haul. I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and then we're gonna do a full face of it, and I am very excited. Sippy, sippy. I don't know how much you guys can tell, but it is very dark and gloomy outside today. I spent all this time doing my hair, my makeup, my outfit, getting all glam, and then the rain started falling from the sky. We are literally probably about to be hit with a hurricane. Doesn't that sound like fun? Let us disembark. Living life is tricky than that. Hey! Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh, thank you! You're you're like Am in I a vlog? vlog. Yes! Oh my god, I vlog. <laughs> I watch this all the time and I'm like, please let me be in a vlog. I love you oh so my much. God, thank Can you. I... Caleb! Caleb! Oh, oh my you. god! Yes! Caleb. Hi Caleb! <laughs> look at these nails, they are good. Oh, look at that. That's okay. like lava it stopped raining look all the stars have aligned onto sephora we go what is this lighting it is putrid do i engage earthworm into the mall my god i can't believe i managed to get in the mall without getting soaking wet oh my god okay i'm not in yet I almost Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's so good to meet you nice. oh thank you so much engage <laughs> And we're in, but not without almost falling to our deaths. Trying to catch some good mall lighting, which I'm convinced doesn't exist. Still walking through Dillard's, the never ending store. I haven't told you yet. Oh, hi. <laughs> there you are. Are we in your yeah. Yes, hey. you are. Oh, hi. <laughs> we love you. you Thank so you. Thank you very much. Like Thank you. We've been meeting so many Swamp family members today, and it is so fun. We all have. There's not as many people in here as I had hoped. Hi! Good, how are you? <laughs> There's like literally not that many people in this. What's going on? It's Saturday. Where is everyone? Can I be strange and ask you what you're buying? Ooh, wait, can I show it on camera? Do you care? Okay, we've got, ooh, it's like a blue Sephora eyeliner. I like that. Can I ask you what? Ooh, I love your makeup. Thank you. Okay, heart blush. What shade is that? Risque. Risque. Okay, brush and 79. And, and then after, after party part. by milk. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Do y'all want to wave for the vlog? Okay. Thank y'all. Is that okay if I see what you're buying? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here. They are. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, They're the Sephora. Yes. Um, Sephora which style? A more? A more. Thank you yes. very much. You want to say hi to the vlog? trying to wait until more people get in line. Um, I was just trying to catch this girl and then she like ran up to the checkout. Cause I feel like it's too eerie like when someone is actually in the act of checking out to be like, hey, <gasps> what you got there? Why can't I find anybody buying perfume? Like this one that smells like rain? Does that just mean dirt? Look, do you want to smell? Smell it. Wow, that eerily does smell like rain thusly. A little bit like dirt. I'm gonna go snoop on some people again. I was like, oh, a mirror. <gasps> oh, joy. And then like this lash, it's beyond leaving. The humidity. Oh my God, yeah, hey! Oh, <laughs> so I love the nails. Can I ask you what you're buying today? Is that okay? Can I see what's in your cart? Oh, yeah. Okay, you've got an IT primer. What's the blue thing? Uh, foundation. Which one is that? That one over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then what's that last box? This is a uh, mascara. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, what are y'all getting? I'm getting the 
Huda Beauty. Oh my god, I love that one. And then the hourglass ambient lighting. Ooh, okay. Thank y'all. Nude drama. That sounds like a YouTube crisis. Might have the last product I'm missing. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I got the Born This Way found, uh, concealer. Oh my gosh, I got a concealer. Yeah, oh, I which concealer. beauty blender did you get? I just got the normal Sephora beauty blender. Oh, oh yeah. wait, which one is that? Uh, just this one. Oh my gosh, it's I've like never a velvet tried. one. Oh, that is magical. <laughs> okay, thank you. Those are literally the two things I needed. We've been too successful. I have a very hefty basket full of goodies. I didn't actually show you guys like every interaction that I had because I did want to go out in the middle of the mall and do a hurl for you guys and show you guys all the goodies we ended up getting. So I will see you guys once I check out. I don't even want to know what the total is going to be. I feel like we have some expensive things in here. Plus a perfume that I didn't even see how much it was. <gasps> I'm about to do a quick curl, awkwardly, in the middle of the mall. This was not a cheap venture, my friends. We ended up spending $791.31. I'm glad to pick up this perfume. It's called Maison Louis Marie. Bois de Valencourt, that is a mouthful. I reminded myself with the light. Like, what happens if I turn this off? We have the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Next thing I got is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And I think that this is the newest, lightest shade. I think that they like recently expanded the color range and the shade is Cloud. Lots of Fenty items and milk makeup items. I feel like those were kind of the most shopped brands. I got a Penny for Your Thoughts, which is a new highlighter, a new um, contouring shade in the shade Shady Biz. Um, and then I got the Matchstick Trio in the lightest shade. I'm really excited for this kind of like gray contour shade. Brand new Sephora. I think this is literally called a fuzzy sponge, no velvet. I think that this is Sephora's dupe for the Juno sponge. We have a good old Tarte blush, Amazonian clay in the shade Risqué. I don't even know what this color looks like. We have more milk makeup. This I'm so glad to be getting again because this was actually in a monthly favorites a couple months ago, but it is the Green Dragon Kush Balm. Then I got a milk makeup eye pigment in the shade After Party. A couple of IT products, an oil-free all-day primer, and a CC oil-free matte foundation. Ambient, our, what is going on with these cameras? Hourglass, Ambience. I hope it's a setting powder. That's what I got it as. Another Fenty product, which this is the only thing where I'm like, how am I gonna possibly pull this off with the rest of the products? Um, it is a lip paint in this really dark plum. Um, it's called Undefeated. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Last couple of products are two lash products. We have Lancome Randall's Mascara. I'm not sure if I have actually tried this before. We also have a Sephora fake pair of eyelashes in the style Amour. Last couple of products, we got one random straggler brush, um, and this is a contour brush in number 79. Last, last thing was the first thing that we got told to buy today, which when people saw me picking this up, I heard nothing but a lot of compliments about it. So this is actually in the shade Fancy Blue. I love that. We're gonna put all this together. We're gonna see what kind of look we come up with. I am excited. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've had so much fun today. I've met like so many of you guys, so many Swamp family members. We've taken so many pictures. We have so many magical moments. So uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for part two of this video. It's finally time for us to dig into all of these goodies that other people picked out for us at Sephora. Hopefully I will find some new products in here that will become fast favorites, things that maybe I would have never thought to grab and try for myself. 
let's get started. Let's get sassy. The first couple of products that we're gonna be using are our primers. One is a lip primer and one is a full face primer. This is probably my favorite lip balm I've ever owned in my life. It is a relatively new product. I think it just launched this year and it is the Milk Makeup Green Dragon Kush Lip Balm. I always have super dehydrated lips so this is kind of always like step one for me. Oh and it kind of has like a light mint fragrance. I love everything about it. Next we have the it's Your Skin But Better Primer Plus Oil-Free Makeup Gripping Base Pore Refiner and Hydrator All Day Grip Technology. I actually love IT Cosmetics. I have never tried this primer before. I feel like the company just has really good positive messaging. This feels pretty interesting. It's not the most tacky primer I've ever used. For instance, Milk's Hydro Grip Primer is like a super tacky primer. It does have a little bit of tack. It feels very lightweight. It does kind of feel moisturizing, so I can see how the hydrator property is in there. So I'm gonna almost stab myself in the eye with this. I'm gonna let this sit because the next step that I always do is eyeshadow before foundation. Next product is a Milk Eye Pigment in the shade After Party. Since this is more of a cream type product and I didn't find anybody, I literally stood in Sephora for like three hours and nobody was buying an eyeshadow base or an eye primer. So that is what we're gonna be using this for today. It is definitely very metallic, which I don't normally use a metallic eye primer. I normally go for a matte, but we are testing new things out today. Let's zoom you in a little bit more so we can actually see some of the application process. Imagine that, I'm just taking a uh, sort of a flatter brush. I think this is one of the Too Faced teddy bear brushes. And I'm just gonna be swiping this all over the eyelids. Oh wow, it has a very creamy mousse feel to it. So far, this product is awesome. Like particularly if you were just trying to do like a nice quick everyday makeup look and you didn't wanna like put 20 products on your eyes, like you definitely could apply this and then just like put on a little mascara and have a very quick, nice put together look. Up next, we get to apply these lovely eyeshadows from the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I have never owned this palette before, but I love Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. In the past, they have been some of my all time favorites. I spent like an entire year obsessed with the Lila palette palette, which was the all purple one. Uh, this one is definitely like, it feels like it's made for me because it's a lot of golds and taupes and all of the colors that I am just super duper into. To save time, I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow bit in a voiceover fashion. Otherwise, this video would be like two hours long. First of all, I'm starting in with this shade. I guess it's pronounced Area, Area 51. That is like my all over base shade. It's my own version of the Bend and Snap, but it's the Blend and Surge. Then I'm moving in with this gorgeous mustard shade, which is actually called Dijon, and I am using that in the inner corner as well as blending it into my crease. Then I'm going uh, to do the outer crease in this shade, which is literally called Log. Pretty sure that there's a better name for that somewhere. Then I'm going in with the shade Sandstone, which is the lightest shade in the palette and I am using that shade to try and blend everything out, soften everything up a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is go back with a little bit of that milk pigment, dab it in the center of my eye, once again using it as an eyeshadow base, and then I'm going to be taking this color called Brass, which is a very impressive metallic shade, and I'm using my finger and I'm just dabbing that to the center of my eyelid to make the whole look 
pop. Continuing on with my personal theme of doing everything wrong and out of order, I do eyeliner next. And this is kind of like one half of the extremely challenging portion of this challenge. In my opinion, there's two products that I think really did not go at all with the rest of the products that I had to buy. This being one of them, it is the Sephora eyeliner in Fiance blue. I think on its own or with an all blue look like I like to do, it would be gorgeous. But how is it going to look with all of these golden taupey bronzy colors? Whoa. Is opaque enough in just one stroke. Overall, very impressed with the eyeliner. $12, one of the less expensive items that we are testing out today. And I don't hate the color combination. And I think I got a reasonably even wing on my first try. We are gonna be testing out this really cool Sephora brand applicator sponge. The top of it is like the Juno, I think that it is called the Juno Velvet Sponge. It kind of has a fuzzy, furry texture and the bottom feels more like a traditional beauty blender sponge. This is what it looks like dehydrated. Looks like it expanded quite a bit. So the foundation we're gonna be testing today is another IT Cosmetics product. So this is called the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish Full Coverage Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF UVA UVB Broad Spectrum Spectrum Broad Spectrum 40. I am very excited for the full coverage because you guys look at these face demons right now, okay? Look at them. Face demons are on spring break and my face is Cancun. I got the shade light medium uh, because if I like it, I would like to be able to use it when I'm spray tanning and when I'm not spray tanning. So I kind of went for um, not the lightest, but like the one, the one in the middle. Does that make any sense? I guess I'm going to start off using the more beauty blender side and then uh, move to the fuzzy side to really blend it. Wow, the coverage though, look at that. I feel like I had a lot of really particularly red face demons right there. And I feel like it just covered them up super duper easily yeah i feel like i don't know like at first i was like oh the shade is a perfect match maybe not the greatest and it hasn't even oxidized yet so we're gonna be blending this all the way down my neck oh, next is a thing that is new and not new i swear i've never tried this shade before uh it's the born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer so these products you can actually use to conceal contour highlight and retouch and i swear i was using some shades as a cream or a liquid contour for a very long time loved it but we're going to be using this shade Shade as a concealer today and it's in the shade cloud which is definitely one of the most magical names for a product I have ever heard of so this is the lightest shade normally I like for my concealer to actually be clown white like that's the shade or that's the concealer that I've been using for a really long time right now is the morphe I think it's literally just like shade zero 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 or something as this foundation is oxidizing I feel my panic rising Woo. A little bit of this goes a long way. I feel like you get a lot of product. So now I'm gonna be going through with the fuzzy side of this blender. Oh my God. Uh, and trying to blend out this sheer insanity amount of product I just put on my face. What was I thinking? Lemon Pepino, best flavor of Gatorade. Moving along, let's do some beautiful cream contour. And I'm really excited to dig into these. I don't think there's been a single Fenty product that I've tried that I haven't liked. This is actually Conceal Contour and Highlight. And I got the lightest shade, which is Light 100. Let's just dive in with some contour. Ooh, that's like a very nice, subtle light shade let's do this do that do that a little nasal contour never hurt nobody oh my god i had no idea they're magnetic oh 
look, look at that. This product is really nice and creamy, easy to blend. I feel like I definitely went overboard with the cheek contour, but it's really um, blending and melting into the skin very nicely. I feel like I definitely just uh, like really went in there kind of extreme. Now we're getting to where I made a couple of purchasing oopsies. The first one is, even though I checked all of the products that I had a complete full face like six times, what I did end up forgetting is an eyebrow product. I feel like most people that are into makeup are really into doing brows, but mine literally are always an afterthought. It is like the least thing on my face that I am concerned about. We are just going to be combing through them with a spoolie brush. And then the other oopsie that I made is I don't really think that I bought a setting powder. I got this, which is the Hourglass Ambient, and it has three shades in it. Somehow I thought that this was just like a regular setting powder or that there was like a setting powder shade in here. It is called the Ambient Lighting Palette. So that should have glued me in. I'm gonna try and go in with this mid shade, which is called called Incandescent Light. And I'm gonna try and just set certain parts of my face using that powder. I must admit, I am not usually somebody that powders my entire face anyway, because I do have combination skin. So I have some parts of my face that tend to be more oily and some that tend to be more dry. So usually on those drier areas, I don't set them with powder anyway. Is it working? Either way, it's all we got, so. That's what we're gonna be using. This Fenty product is going to be our powder bronzer, our powder contour. I always like to go in with a cream first and then set my contour with a nice bronzy powder shade. This is a relatively new product, I think, from Fenty, which is the Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. This shade is called Shady Biz. Oh yeah, this is just adding a nice, subtle, warmth to my face. Time to go in with a blush. And this might be another challenge product. Um, I said that there was only two, there might be three because I have no idea what color this blush is. So it might be like super red or super orange. This is a Tarte blush in the shade Risqué. Ooh, it looks like it's a mauve tone. I definitely have owned this before. It is somewhere in my life, um, but I don't have like the canon of every Tarte blush memorized. Ooh. I like it. I went in and smoked out my under eye just using some residual product left on the makeup brushes I used earlier. And also I went through and added this really pretty shade, which is called Lime Chrome. And I just brushed that in the inner corner up to the brow bone onto a powder highlight. This looked like a really pretty copper color that somebody selected. This is the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter. I think that this is a new shade, which is called Penny for Your Thoughts. Oh my gosh. It's almost like a rosy copper and it looks very sparkly, which I'm really excited about because I do love a good glitter highlight. And uh, to apply this, we're actually going to be using this brush, which is meant for contour. It's called the Pro Contour, but I forgot to use it to apply the contour. Um, and since I bought it specifically for this video, we might as well use it. And it looks actually, yeah, I mean, definitely this to me looks more like a multi-purpose face brush that you could use for contour, highlight, blush, kind of whatever you want to do. So let's just dip in there. Oh, oh my God. I am, what, what have I done? I look like a football player. Something's not quite right. I don't know if it's just like, maybe not the best shade for me. Um, or, no, no, I did it again. I don't know how we're gonna fix what we've done here. This is not a completed look. At least it blends out really easily. Thankfully, we have that really cool cream highlight to try. We are just gonna draw over the mistake we just made. Pretend like that didn't happen. I do feel like since it's a cream, it did kinda cover up that mistake pretty well. Time for 
lashes. First product for that is the Lancome Grand Walls Mascara, a wide angle fan effect mascara. Packaging looks really pretty. Oh my god, look at this. Like this is maybe the weirdest a mascara wand ever? Is this how this is supposed to be? Google, why is this like this? This is so weird. Definitely easy to apply. This like weird brush shape is a mistake. I'm gonna have to say I really love it. I love angled mascara wands. And there's just something about this one that really seems to be doing it for me. I think I ended up doing three coats of this mascara to really get a nice full coverage fanned out effect. But of course I need some falsies. So for that, I am going with the Sephora Amour style. Didn't actually check to see if they had less expensive false eyelashes. These are called the Luxe Collection, but I have to admit, I'm really impressed by the packaging. This is a nice acrylic case. You could definitely use this over and over again. I really love the style of these lashes. I'm just going to trim them, glue them, and then we will have a big reveal moment. Pretty easy to apply. The lash band is a little bit on the thicker side. Like if I would have designed it, I would have made it just a little bit thinner, but uh, definitely love them. Would purchase, would use again. This is the other challenge product because it is a Fenty lip paint, but I think it might be in a very weird shade for this look, but this is what we were given. So this is what we're going with. So this is in the shade Undefeated. This is probably gonna be very weird with the gold eyeshadow and the blue eyeliner. The other thing that I couldn't catch anybody buying is a lip liner. Is that kind of like not a super popular product? Like I literally never apply lip product without a lip liner first. So we're just gonna be doing things a little bit weird today. Here goes nothing. All right, you guys, here is our completed look. And I must admit the lip with this entire look really brought it to a level that I didn't think that it was gonna bring it to. It's like a nice, dark, grungy, ooh, kind of shade. I really do like how the lip made the eye look a little bit more darker, a little bit more smoky. I am really pleasantly surprised by the choices of strangers. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed filming it. It was such an adventure. I love these challenges. So let me know if you love them too by leaving a like on the video. It really helps out if you guys leave a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It all helps me out a great deal. Hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!